Let's go now to brothers Don and KG, KJ Johnson, who host uh, a morning radio show in Alaska. Uh, let's uh, let's go to them right now. Um, you guys were on the on the radio when this uh, earthquake hit. What happened? Yes, yes, yes. We were. We're actually in the middle of a a, a story, yeah. a Christmas bit. Yeah, and uh, out of nowhere, man, it kind of seemed like uh, you know how you start an amusement park ride, and it kind of starts to bump, 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 and. Uh, Initially, the, the bumps were kind of slow to go, slow to start, and uh, we looked at each other, and maybe two, three seconds later, man, it was total pandemonium. Yeah, it started shaking like uh, the most chaotic ride you could possibly ever want to be on. The building felt like it was on a bowl of jello. It was mm -hmm. just, it, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, get any callers calling in describing what was happening? Well, what happened initially is the the magnitude of the earthquake was so great, it knocked us off of the air immediately. Um, all the lights went out, uh, all of the televisions went out. We immediately came back on from our backup generators, uh, only to discover pictures had been thrown from the walls, uh, computers had been turned upside down. People were calling in, uh, you know, trying to mark they were safe or try to find out uh, if certain schools, we had maybe two or three different schools that they, they had the roof collapse. Yeah, a couple of schools caught on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of flooding downtown. You know, right after that, a tsunami warning hit and uh, evacuation started for downtown. But with yeah. no no traffic signals, nothing to to kind of direct people. So yeah. it and was it was immediate gridlock and just craziness. And I don't know if you guys realize, you know, Alaska around this time of year, there's not much sunlight. Light. So, yeah. you know, all this going on, a lot of darkness, uh, a, a lot of confusion, yeah. and, like, literally, it was it was kind of like a little Beirut because, like, you could look out of the window and see uh, Transformers, Transformers exploding, exploding uh, like, like fireworks almost throughout the city, smoke starting to rise. Uh, it was it was it was pretty harrowing. Yeah, it was a, it was like a scene out of a out of a movie. Right. You Literally. know, guys, uh, we're looking at right now some video inside a courtroom. This was shot by um, our, our local affiliate KTVA. You can see a girl doing exactly a woman doing exactly what you are supposed to do. I'm sorry, CBS affiliate, not NBC's. Um, but a woman doing exactly what you're supposed to do during an earthquake. She's getting underneath the desk until the shaking is over. Uh, it was a yeah. violent shaking in the beginning there. It's still going on. It, it looks like it's lasting, God, at least 30 seconds. How long did it, how long do you think it lasted? Um, did it feel to you at least? It, 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 th th 30, 45 seconds, but it felt like it lasted for like, about five minutes. Yeah, like literally, it was the longest 45 seconds of shaking. I mean, it, the shaking was so violent that the 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 the, the mortar the, in the concrete, sheetrock uh, separated. Like you literally literally have lines throughout the building uh, where the sheetrock and the mortar w was separated uh, from the shaking being so violent. Wow. Um Gosh, it, it just the the image right there. It's still shaking uh, of the beginning of this video where it just looked like the camera jerked around immediately. The the flags almost fell down. Panels on the ceiling uh, fell down. Uh, gentlemen, where are you right now? Uh, right now, we're in our vehicle headed uh, headed out of town because the tsunami warning shortly after pushed everybody, uh, pushed everyone. To where, yeah, where the, the radio station is located is in Cook Inlet, literally downtown. So we were on, literally on the on the on the edge of uh, on, on the edge of the tsunami warning uh, perimeter, where they were, you know, basically telling everyone to uh, get move, get, to, move higher to higher ground. So we basically sacked everything up, jumped in our SUV, and headed up towards the mountain. And with there being no traffic lights, you can imagine the gridlock that has us, you know, in a hold as we're looking in our rearview mirror with the possible of a wall of water right rushing oh, gosh, at us yeah. from behind. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a crazy moment in life for sure. Don and KJ Johnson, glad you're safe. Glad that tsunami warning was canceled. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Have a good day. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.